If you're in Atlanta, you may have found that it is next to impossible to hit your cash flow goals on the available inventory right now. It's all good, though, because I got a solution for you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. What's up, folks? I got a solution for the problem you have. That problem, you can't hit the cash flow numbers you want, right? Atlanta real estate, boom. Through the friggin' roof, man. But I got a pro I got a solution to your problem, right? Who the fuck am I? I'm James Wise, and this is Holton Wise TV, and this is the MLS Search and Analysis Show, right? Well, actually, no, that's Holton Wise TV. That's the MLS Search and Analysis Show, right? What we do is we help investors like you from all over the world start, build, or grow their real estate portfolios, but we do so in the most transparent uh, and unique way possible, right? We're going to give you the education, tell you about the good, the bad, and then if you see a deal that makes sense for you, we'll actually work on your behalf to be your people on the ground, right? Because you guys are in Atlanta, and the pricing in Atlanta is too high right now. You can't get the cash flow numbers you need, right? So there's other markets out there you need to expand, right? You need to expand your horizons and look at those cheap markets, right? But of course, you can't physically be on the ground in these cheap markets. You need an on-the-ground team. Again, that's where we come in, right? And the guy I'm working with today is my man, Carlo. Carlo's got a pretty modest budget. This budget ain't going to do anything in Atlanta. He can't get his business off the ground in Atlanta with the amount of money he has. However, there's other markets available to him that my team works that he can definitely get things moving. And it doesn't involve buying properties in the heart of the ghetto or super difficult, distressed neighborhoods. No, no, no. We can get properties in nice, solid, predictable areas, right? You just have to, to, to go a little bit further away from Atlanta, right? And that's what we're doing today, right after this break. <laughs> Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's dive right into the numbers on this property, okay? This bad boy just hit the market this week, right? Six days on the market. 1823 Lake Ave, Elyria, 44035. They have it listed at 76900 And that is a freaking deal in a half it is so hard to find decent single family inventory for less than a hundred thousand dollars right now in a nice stable neighborhood and this is a very nice stable neighborhood i enjoy this neighborhood quite a bit i consider it to be very low risk right it's it's like you know splitting hairs between a c and a b neighborhood right it's, you know some days i might feel like it's a b neighborhood some days i might feel like it's a c neighborhood right it's it's right up in there man it's definitely much less risk than a lot of the stuff we have in our portfolio right like folks watching holt Lines tv they see like a lot of duplexes in cleveland proper right definitely above that right Love this neighborhood quite a bit. Still incredibly affordable, though, right? So this is one of those neighborhoods that I think it's great for, for most any investors that are just getting started because it works awesome with Section 8, but it also works really good with the cash-paying tenants, right? If you get into a higher-risk neighborhood, you kind of have to go Section 8, right? Because it's just too risky and too unpredictable of an investment to do so otherwise, right? And if you get into a really nice neighborhood, you don't want to go Section 8, right? Because you want super high-quality tenants, right? But when you're in those really, really nice neighborhoods, oftentimes you'll find the price-to-rent ratios don't make any sense uh, for investment purposes, right? Because those neighborhoods are generally driven by the owner occupants who probably make up, I don't know, 90, 95% of that particular area, right? So this one's right in the middle, right? The Swiss Army knife of uh, investing, so to speak, right? And it is a nice deal. We already have a tenant in there, okay? Long term tenant. That's why the listing agent only gave us two photos, which is actually the same photo? Nope. The second photo, you can see a little bit more of the tree, right? Yeah, see that? You don't see that part of the tree in the first photo. That's why it was very important for them to get the two photos in here, right? You don't want to miss the other half of that tree. But that's okay. Don't freak out because we don't have photos. It's very, 
normal when it comes to selling rental properties, right? Tenants don't like random people bothering them in their homes. Couple that with the fact that we got COVID going on, dude. Ain't nobody want nobody in their house. It's okay, though. It's not a big deal, right? A lot of people are like, oh, what does the inside of the house look like? Bro, unless the inside of the house is fucking paved with gold, it doesn't really matter, okay? What we have here is a long-term tenant. This long-term tenant is on an oral month-to-month lease paying $800 a month. They've been in there for years. It's irrelevant what it looks like. Why? Because I guarantee goddamn you, eventually when this person moves out, we're going to do a full turn. We're going to redo the whole thing. We're going to do paint, floors, walls, update the fixtures in the kitchens and the baths, right? You don't get somebody living in a rental for 5, 10 years, and then they move out, and then you just walk in there with your broom, and then it's all good for the next tenant, right? No, no, no. It's not how it goes. But long-term tenants are an asset. You want to keep them in the property as long as you can, right? 800 a month, not even market rent, right? The market rent on this, it's actually $1,000 a month because it's a nice 3-1. And that could be cash, could be Section 8, whatever you want, right? Now, that's $12,000 a year coming in. You run your normal fixed and variable expense estimates, right? And that's going to include your repairs, maintenance, vacancy, non-payment, and CapEx, right? CapEx, that's your big ticket items. Roofs, furnace, hot water tanks, right? Roofs, roof like this, it's probably a $5,000 roof. They last every 30 years. Hot water tank. Uh, they last every fi- they last about 15 years. Cost a G. Um, furnaces they cost about three Gs. Last about 30 years, right? Now, repairs and maintenance on an occupied unit, right? You're not really doing a lot of repairs while the tenant's living there, right? But you're saving that money in anticipation for that big old turnover, right? And then vacancy and not payment. Of course, there is no vacancy and non payment cost, which is not really a cost. It's just really like a loss of income, right? I got to put it on the line item though, so you guys don't think. The property is going to make you more money than it really will, right? So I've got 1800 of actual money really going to you, but I'm making sure you don't think it is your return because eventually you're going to have to spend all that money, right? So your true return should be, in my opinion, on average $6,027.64 a year. As far as price goes, seventy six nine. we got to come in very close to that. Again, very, very hard to find something under 100 k in a neighborhood like this. We're going to go in strong, try to get it at 75 We pick it up at 75 you put down 18750 bank kicks in 56 and a quarter. If we got the tenant all the way up to market rent by slowly increasing their rents without during a turnover, you'd be looking at a cash-on-cash cash return of approximately 17%. These are numbers that are next to impossible to hit in most markets in the United States of America. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.